Hi friends, welcome to Politics on Swari.com. Today's topic is an interesting topic, how an allele is different from a chromosome and what is the exact difference between dominant and recessive allele within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing this channel. Let's begin from the very basics. We are made up of billions of cells. Each cell has nucleus. Inside the nucleus, DNA or genetic material is present. The most condensed form of organization of genetic material that is visible during the metaphase stage is called as a chromosome. And these are chromosomes. And this is an individual chromosome. Chromosome is made up of DNA that is wrapped around proteins called histones. Actually, it is a nucleoprotein complex. This is the double helical DNA that stores genetic information. A part of DNA or a segment of DNA that codes for a functional protein or that determines a character is called as a gene. Hope this much is clear. Now let us look our karyotype. So inside our nucleus, there are 46 chromosomes. 22 pairs plus XY. This is a male karyotype. You can see 22 plus X and Y. This is called the karyotype. First point is the clear understanding of homologous chromosome. As you can see, we are a diploid organism. That means chromosome 1 is represented twice. Chromosome 2 is also represented twice. Chromosome 3 is also, we have two copies. These two makes a homologous chromosome. Let us zoom in these. This is a homologous chromosome. So homologous chromosomes are having equal length with same gene position and same centromeric position that pairs during the meiosis. The position of genes on the homologous chromosome is called as the locus. As you can see, these are genes, capital A, capital A, small b, small b, like that. As we are a diploid organism, one chromosome comes from the father and the second one comes from the mother. This paired chromosome are called as homologous chromosome. Now let us see what is an allele. These are two genes present on homologous chromosomes, small b, small b. Here both genes are same. Then we call it as homozygous. Sometimes this may be different as in the case here capital C small c. These are different alleles. If the alleles are different then it is called as heterozygous. That means if we expand there will be difference in the nucleotide sequence of this small c and capital C gene. That is why we call allele as different versions of the same gene. So remember, alleles are different versions of a gene that is located on the same locus of homologous chromosomes controlling the same trait. Suppose the C is controlling the color hair color, both capital C and small c is controlling hair color. If B is for eye color, then both the capital B and small b gene or allele controls the same trait that is eye color. These alleles are formed by the mutation of wild gene. So in a diploid organism or an individual, each trait can have a maximum of two alleles. But in a population, the number of alleles may be more in the case of some characters like blood group. Classical example is blood group. The three distinct alleles are allele A, allele B and allele I. Remember, in an individual, for a trait, there can be a maximum of two alleles. If alleles are same like this, small b, small b, we call it as homozygous. If alleles are different like this, small c, capital C, then we call the condition as heterozygous. Now let us take an example to understand what do you mean by a dominant allele and a recessive allele. Let's take the eye color of humans as an example. This brown eye is considered as a dominant allele control character, whereas blue eyes are considered as recessive. Why is it so? Brown eye given as capital B is a dominant brown eye allele, whereas small b is the recessive blue eye allele. Why we call like that? Let's make a pinot square. So these are the gametes, capital B and capital B crossing with 
capital B and small b in heterozygous condition. These two gametes from father and these two gametes from mother. The offsprings are capital B, capital B, capital B, small b, capital B, small b, small b, small b. So these are the possibilities. A dominant allele is an allele that will express even in the presence of a single copy. As you can see in heterozygous condition, dominant allele will express. Or in other words, dominant allele is an allele that masks the expression of the recessive allele. A single copy is required for showing its effect. For the recessive allele, two copies are required for showing their effect. So let's take one more example. Here one parent is heterozygous that is capital B small b and the second one is homozygous. The gametes are small b small b. Then the offsprings are capital B small b, capital B small b, small b small b, small b small b. Here you can see whenever there is a dominant allele that trait will express. Here the dominant allele is brown eye allele. Therefore these two in heterozygous condition are brown and these two in homozygous recessive condition are blue colored. In short a dominant allele can express its effect even a single copy is present or in a heterozygous condition whereas recessive allele to express two copies are required that is it should be recessive homozygous condition. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.